Hello YouTube and welcome to another uh, episode of Unpacking the Diecast Insanity and this time we got a whole bunch of Hot Wheels, Chevy Silverados and a bunch of green light uh, Dodge Power Wagons. So and we even got a Hot Wheels Power Wagon and a whole bunch more. Let's go ahead and start off by the Hot Wheels Chevy Silverado with the metal tires or metal base and uh, rubber tires front end detail looks good with the painted grill and rear detail with the painted tail lights this is from the uh, the car display that you hang on the walls this came with the Hot Wheels car display looks really similar to this Hot Wheels release which I think was a, a main line it has plastic tires and a plastic base looks really similar to the one though that came with the display oh, we even get a license plate on this one that's cool We have another main lime release. This one looks really good in the blue and white. <laughs> Next one I'm pretty sure was a Target release. It's one of my favorite releases. And that one, I think, was a Walmart release. And then this was the only time it came out in car culture so far. Rubber tires and metal base, front detail with a grill painted. Looks really good with the front detail. Get the rear detail. So this one is one of my favorites. The red. This red one. And then this one. Them are probably my top three. Love this Fram one. You don't see the Fram racing livery very often at all. And this was a Walmart release. A camo. Don't really care for this one much. Make a good one used for customs though because it has a smoked glass window. For some reason I thought this release had the metal window. Or uh, the yellow window. Guess not. That must have been another release that I don't have out. This is not the Chevy Silverado or this is a... Uh, shout out Champion DJK for this one. Uh, this. I remember getting when I was a kid this exact purple variation with the plow and uh, he had one I can't remember if it came carded or if it was like a if it was a fresh blister pull uh, I can't remember now it, I'm thinking it was carded but awesome have something from my childhood in absolutely mint condition. I also have a played with beat up one miss, missing the plow that uh, I got found at a flea market in a loose dump bin. So. And we have an S10 here with 350 horsepower S10. 
rubber tires. I've owned three or four S10s, so you don't see this casting very often at all from Hot Wheels. Really cool with the metal base and rubber tires. The Goodyear rubber tires. Really happy to have this one. Can't remember where I picked it up at, but it's in minty mint condition. And we have this release, has a metal base, plastic tires. I think this was uh, another one that was either a Target or a Walmart exclusive. And it looks a lot like the main line here that they also had a super treasure hunt of. And I would like to say this was around 2004 or 2007. Might have been 2007. It was like the first or second year of the super treasure hunts. It was when they were having uh, paint issues with the Spectra Flame paint. So I do not have the super treasure hunt of this. I would absolutely love to have the super treasure hunt of this. Definitely on a want list. So the next we got a awesome awesome hot wheels could not wait to get this power wagon and absolutely could not wait to tear it open so they don't release this very often in like a normal uh deco most of the time it comes out like in the uh, i don't know the retro entertainment or something or the pop culture most of the time it comes out in the pop culture I don't think there's a whole lot of releases of this. This is definitely something I could go after all of them, but I don't I don't like the pop culture. I don't like the Nes Quick or whatever uh Nestle whatever uh sponsorships they put on it, Pez whatever. I don't care for all them sponsors. So that's why I don't pick up har hardly any of the pop culture if any of them. And we have a really awesome release here. This was a Hot Wheels 100%. The body does come off of the base, which I'm not going to do. It just pops right off. Uh, this has a rubber tire on the back. I had got another one of these. I'm not sure what release it is. So a big shout out to Radar. He traded me this one. And it's looks really similar they both have rubber tires uh i don't think the body comes off of this one and this has like a fake spare tire where this one has a real spare tire so that's the only difference really i see the paint uh this says like mci rolled calm this one just says mci so this one has more going on with the deco a lot more sponsorships because it's a hot wheels hundred percent so i don't know which release this is but they're extremely similar but different like this one just has more detail it has more going on seeing it Toyota Tundra Racing and the other one just says Toyota V8. This says MCI of Rolled Calm. That one just says MCI. So they're definitely in the same truck. Well, this one got more detail up front. Got the MCI on the headlights and this one didn't. It just really glad to have a 
example of both because this is a casting I'm trying to complete and go after every variation and I'm pretty sure I got every variation but one variation of it next we got a whole bunch of green light power wagons first up we got four variations of it in the burgundy here well in different colors but this one the first variation is burgundy of course this is a casting I do try to complete from green light I think I have all of them but uh, I think there might be a couple in a hitch and toe series I might be missing I'm not a hundred percent sure about that but this particular variation I have all four right here looks really good in the blue I knew somebody had the blue variation of this uh, in real life it had like the same uh, deco on the side and everything so it was a woman too she had the lift kit with big mutters on it white variation red grill which looks really awesome But my favorite variation of this would be this one right here. It's a flat black with red detail. Try and get my phone set up a little higher here. Then we got the power wagon, which is my favorite deco for this. Love the power wagon. If I ever had a Dodge Ram, which I probably will not, uh, I would definitely get the vinyl decal for there to make it a power wagon make it look like a power wagon I think these are all the Ram 2500 I don't collect the Ram 1500 they have just as many or more releases way more releases of the 1500 than 2500 but uh, I do try to complete the Dodge 2500 so here's another, this is like a, this is a gray variation. Next we have a purple variation that looks extremely similar to the gray. On camera it might look identical. So there's a purple variation. Not a whole lot of difference. And then the next four are going to be all four variations of the high country. So the first variation in white, which the high country, I absolutely love it. It just, to me, it looks like such a, uh, a normal truck that a farmer or somebody would buy. It just, it's a very normal, basic, basic truck. And I just love that. And these are all 2500 so no matter what you get it in, you get this decked out retro one or the power wagon with just the power wagon decal that looks pretty tough. Doesn't matter. So red, probably one of the most common Dodge trucks you see driving down the road right here. Blue's probably pretty common too. And all four of these just look like trucks you would see driving down the road. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. And 
then the last one is black which is probably my favorite out of the four And we still got some time left, so let's go ahead and show some more green light. These are really, really awesome, and some of them can be pretty rare. If I get my cameras set up. First up, we have a Dodge Dart GT 2013. It's really cool that Greenlight even made these, like the Dodge Dart. That does have a plastic base and plastic tires, which I don't mind. This is a 2016 Chevy Volt. awesome lens headlights and lens tail lights and they really went all out on these basic normal little cars Which to me these are just as nice or nicer than a TLV or not a TLV a Kyosho I would compare these to Kyosho and I think that's nicer than a Kyosho it's heavier has a metal base this one has a plastic base. This is a 2012 Ford Focus ST. Some of these might be motor, moto rolled releases, which had plastic bases. This one does have rubber tires, even though it has a plastic base. Well, actually, I think they all have rubber tires. Yeah, they all have rubber tires. And then the next one's a 2010 Honda Civic. Lens tail lights, lens tail lights. Auto roll detail. The headlight on this is a little wonky. Looks like it didn't get trimmed out real good. So it definitely has some extra plastic there on it. And then we got some Ford GTs. I don't have a whole bunch of the green light Ford GTs. I do have this black one, which is based on a real racing livery. Which I think they might have sold at like a Jackson Hewitt or Barrett Jackson or some crap auction. And they have a new release that looks really similar to this one. Greenlight did an awesome, awesome job on this casting, though. We got a silver one. And then the last one, which is all black. So those are the only three Ford GTs that I have from Greenlight. And we have another, what is this? 2016 Chevy Volt again. This one's a really cool silver looking one. And with that, we're going to go ahead and end it today. I appreciate you joining in and the uh, unpacking of the Diecast Insanity. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and please leave comments. Thank you, and thanks for watching.